Hi everyone, today we'll look at PLC inputs and in particularly the discrete inputs meaning just basic digital inputs and outputs. On the screen you'll see my input, uh, my scan or my PLC, what the inputs are doing there and the ladder logic inside the PLC. Now the first one is a normally open contact or um, in the ladder logic, this is drawn as normally open or an examine on. And I also have a normally closed contact and it goes to the ladder logic, the examine on again. So normally on basically and normally off refer to the condition of the input when nothing is acted upon them. So in my first diagram here, You'll see that it's uh, normally on, then someone presses it, and it produces a signal to the input side. So you on the PLC input card, you will actually see the light turn on as that is being pushed. And then subsequently, in the ladder logic, on the normally open contact or examine on contact, when the normally open is pushed, that light turns on. Now if we take a look at the normally closed, the normally closed in when no one touches it, the light put is on. And then when someone energizes it, it breaks the circuit. And when the circuit's broken, the light turns off. In the ladder logic, then the examine on, because we have the uh, signal going in through the normally closed to the actual input, the normally open contact and the ladder logic will remain on until someone actually turns it off. So this is a, a good demonstration of the input signals versus what the scan signal will do and then the resulting ladder logic. And you'll notice in the ladder logic if I were to put some normally closed contacts or examine offs they would just be the opposite. So let's call up the program um, and basically we just have the two inputs here and we reverse the logic on the output side and my simulator and here I have input x0 is off and x1 is on so in the latter logic x0 is off so it's normally open that's open so the output remains off if I look at the examine off or the normally closed contact of that same input, because it's not on there, I make it on in the PLC program and Y2 is then on. So that shows me uh, that I can reverse the logic any time I want. If I look at the next input, X1, X1 is wired in, we'll say, normally closed so it's on all the time and in its state when it's on if I do an examine on, um, on I'll see that's on and Y1 will turn on which we see here if we do the normally closed contact or examine off on the PLC logic then it reverses that logic and turns Y3 off which we have so what we expect is if we energize uh, x0 then x0 turns that one on and the opposite effect not x0 turns y2 off and the same thing happens when I take x1 and I turn it off then x1 is now off so y1 is off and not x1 is off so y3 is now off Okay, I hope that clears up the uh, logic. You can see it can be quite confusing. What I usually do is I refer back to the actual uh, input itself and I look at the actual lights as long as well as my uh, wiring diagrams to try to troubleshoot and then I can get a good handle of how things are wired and what should happen. Alright, thanks for watching.
and visit our website for additional information.